night vision goggles or a laser light on his head. And today we have another True Heroes playset, Sentinel-1, the AH-64D Apache Longbow Helicopter. Look how cool this is. So let's open it up and check it out. Okay, here is our Apache helicopter all out of the box. So one thing about these True Hero Sentinel-1 playsets is they come half put together. So one half that's facing out is put together and then you kind of have to mirror it or copy it for the other side. And while doing it, I really hurt my finger putting the uh, missile on the outside. So I'm gonna say I'm not such a fan about that. My one request to True Heroes Sentinel-1 playset people is include instructions. It would be so much easier for us. Anyway, let's get back to our cool helicopter. So as you see, it has like a little knob on the front where you can move it on the wheels. It comes with three wheels on the bottom and the propeller in the front moves and the propeller in the back moves, but you can't really spin it at the same time because these propellers are so long that they actually hit this one. So one at a time you can spin it. In the back of the Apache helicopter, it's got, it's all black and it's got stickers on it with the Sentinel-1 symbol and the very cool shark face. Look at him, doesn't he look so vicious? comes with a gun underneath that can be moved around and it looks like a wheel in the front in case you have some sort of crash landing or something, I'm not quite sure. He's got four missiles down here on each side. That I'm guessing is some sort of fuel and or jet area, but it might be some sort of military grade ammunition. It also has a missile on each side here. That's what I hurt my finger on. And some stickers up here. Let me know in comments below if you know what this piece is here, what it's called and what it does. I would love to know. And then you can lift up the center here, the cockpit, and you can put your action heroes in. So we have our pilot here. He's an awesome pilot. His legs move and bend. His arms move and bend. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine articulated points, which is really cool. And you can sit him in to pilot the plane. And then we have his co-pilot back here. And he also has as many articulated points, nine, I guess, with a helmet and a vest. Maybe he is gonna actually jump out of the plane and do some land battle. Now both of them fit in nicely and you can close the top of it, which looks really cool. Doesn't that look like an awesome helicopter? This, this set is really fun and really realistic in that sense that all the action figures do fit in really easily and really nicely. It also comes with two guns, which we can put in with these guys on their laps in case they need it during some sort of battle or if they have to jump out and abandon the helicopter. It comes with two barrels and two gas tanks. So there it is, our Apache helicopter. I do wish it had some lights or sounds, even just sounds as the helicopter moved around. That would, I think, make it a little cooler, a little more realistic, but I do love how nicely, evenly, and quickly the propellers go around. Look. I am back with another True Hero Sentinel-1 playset. Today I found the combat helicopter. Let's check it out. Okay, so here it is out of the box. First, let's check out the combat helicopter. The propellers don't bend, but they do spin around and it is a gray camouflage. It's all one unit. The only thing that moves on the helicopter are the propeller on top and the gun at the bottom, which is pretty cool and realistic looking. It's got a landing pad and a hitch back here where it looks like you can hook something on if you needed to. So you can take something like a net or another vehicle, and it looks like it's a combat helicopter for one. So let's see. There's nothing really inside there to show other than room for the feet. So let's see if our action figure can fit in. He does. Our action figure fits in really nicely. There's nothing for him to hold on to, so he isn't so secure in place. So you may wanna 
mess around with him, make sure he's in, in place, or maybe even put a rubber band on him or something to strap him in because it's a little loosey-goosey in there. You can see all the detail on the side, all the nuts and bolts screwed on, which is pretty cool. Some weapons there. And on the other side, Sentinel-1 is painted on, and AH-2513 must be the call letters is also created on the side. So let's take a look at our action figure. He's pretty cool looking. He has, looks like a mask and some maybe night vision goggles or a laser light on his head. He's got special breathing mask on. I guess it's for when he's up in the air. He's got, it looks like a combat vest on with a knife, a buckle, and some packs in the front. And he's got all sorts of things on his legs. He's got a bunch of packs. He's got a pistol, knee pads. He bends at the knees and at the wrists and his arms and legs move, and his head does not move on this one. So that is something to note. Now he does fit in slightly better in the helicopter when you have his legs bent, so that might be a better way to have him go into the helicopter. And he also comes with a weapon, a gun here. I'm pretty sure it fits onto the side of him, right there, it's a little hole on his back, so he can grab it when needed. But it is hooked up. To his backpack and he can sit in the helicopter with it on. He also comes with this accessory sheet which a lot of the combat vehicles come with. Three guns, a shovel, a knife, binoculars, a backpack, and two hand grenades. So there you have it, the True Heroes Combat Helicopter. Today we have a True Heroes Sentinel-1 Sentry Outpost Helicopter. So let's open it up. Okay, so here is the Sentry Outpost helicopter out of the box with its accessories. First, let's take a look at this awesome helicopter. The propeller on top spins, and it looks like it should have some lights and sounds, although it doesn't. And this back propeller also spins. There is a light on top that uh, kind of reflects. The coolest thing about this helicopter, I think, is the seat where you can have your action figure sit on and use the machine gun and attack anybody trying to get them. It also comes with a whole row of ammunition. This machine gun can also fold back into the helicopter. You slide it back and then turn it in and tuck it away. And there it is also in the helicopter. And you can have your very cool action figure, which moves at the knees and at the elbows and the head, sit in here and be the pilot. So it only comes with one action figure, but you could really use an action figure from another set to have one in the helicopter and one pilot the helicopter. It's decorated with painted on the sides. There's no stickers on this. And the door on this side doesn't open, but you can access the cockpit and put your action figure in and take him out along this side. He also has a hook on this side. I'm not sure what it's for, if it's to lift and lower some rescuers, or if it's to hold on to some equipment or extra supplies. I don't know, it can be any of those things. So here's our gray camo helicopter, pretty cool. And it comes with this lifeboat that actually floats in the water. It has Sentinel-1 painted on the side, and it has oars that you can move out or tuck in, a light feature that can fold down, and a light in the front that can revolve around. And our trusty action figure fits in the life raft and he can row himself to safety. We also have, it looks like some sort of radar that comes with the action figure that you can snap on his back for his backpack. He cannot fit into the helicopter or the rowboat with the radar machine on his back. So when you do have it on the action figure, you can have him standing to the side. He also comes with this whole bunch of accessories we have. We have two guns, three guns, oh my goodness. A survival backpack, two hand grenades, binoculars, a shovel, and a knife. Everything you could possibly need if you've crash landed and need to get to safety. I hope you had fun checking out the Sentry Outpost helicopter with us today. If you liked this video, please press like below and please subscribe. Bye.